Buster Douglas and undefeated Jesse Thunder Ferguson. Both fighters have devastating corner. Stay there, I don't come out until I tell you, right? Now 40 seconds. The well, in that fight against Randy Cobb, I had only three days notice. There's people surprised to see Ferguson here. Uh, Richard Scott, his first round opponent, was considered a, maybe a dark horse candidate to do well. Oh, right hand hurt Douglas. Douglas backpedaling, trying to get off the ropes, and Ferguson goes right back in on him. Oh, another right hand. Oh, now to have regrouped himself. Throwing a lot of combinations, but when he does punch often, it's one or two or three punches that have won two AAU titles, both in Hawaii. Wallen, by the way, was an outstanding basketball player for his home school, Columbus. Oh, he just hurt Ferguson prove. bad. Big boxing fans just big, uh, came into the picture. Uh, and he is looking a lot more soft. Next heavyweight championship in June. Tony Anthony against the... Ferguson not nearly as aggressive. There was a good left hook, but not throwing as many punches as he did earlier. Eleven thousand dollars to do automobile and some vacation time. One of Douglas doing some holding behind the head. Ferguson stumbled at the end of round one. This is the right hand. Ferguson is doing some real good body work. Or is it good? Work? A very interesting I default or otherwise is in the final. Jesse Ferguson is giving Douglas lots of head movement. Real dividends this is if this fight continues. Punches on Douglas's face. Jesse Ferguson in the last round was able to throw this combination come out for this fourth round like they want to really uh, like Ferguson is a target for it. I might be something wrong with the left eye of Ferguson. Maybe yeah. a thumb. If he might be two and a quarter. Golden Gloves title. What? One of the things about amateur records is Anthony again who had Douglas in some trouble after he himself was poor here. Turn it punch, yeah. <laughs> left eye does not appear to have that now for the fourth round. Trying to go downstairs. Got a pretty good left hook inside on Douglas that time. Look. Most of those jabs not getting there. There's a way point of the scheduled 10 rounder. Douglas going right to back in our program tonight. They expect it comes out of the green. Boxing here in the sixth. Ferguson goes. For Ferguson's only been eight rounds and only that once. Whereas Buster Douglas has been a 10 round limit a couple of times. It's been nine. And uh, he may have more stamina going into those later rounds. Christian. Comes right back. The North American Boxing Federation champion Jackie Beard against upset minus. Breaks him out, but Douglas goes right back to work again. 22 pounds leaning on you. Can wear you down. Take a couple of 100 pound cement bags. Put them on one on each shoulder and walk. Ooh, hey, he hurt Douglas now, with the right hand. And he had to see that was a short right hand, but he stunned Buster Douglas with that punch. Now he comes out swinging with a left right combination. Now one. On, yeah. Just trying to cover up. He throws him up. Recoup a little bit. Big Good left hook again by Ferguson. That, and uh, maybe that is winning him a couple of those rounds. We'll see. You don't see itself on a 10 round fight. They say six, seven. You say, well, nine and 10 are important too, but this is what a fighter. Referring to the Buick that uh, the winner <laughs> of this tournament will get. And they. Ferguson standing straighter now. The seventh. The first round against Deion Simpson. Slowed him down that much. Good right hand. A good look at six foot four James Buster Douglas coming out. And I thought he did good body work and uh, was pretty effective. There. Ferguson, you see him trying to get off first. Douglas, who his own manager, John Johnson, said still has to lose probably 15 or 20 pounds or so. Find that Douglas caught Ferguson with an uppercut at the end. around that. I remember when, look, at good left to the body. I remember when Kenny Norton fought Jimmy Young for the title. Norton landed practically nothing to the head. All body shots. And yet they gave him the, this is heart. This yeah, is guts right, right now. The tenth and final one. You may have stunned him with that right because Ferguson moving back on those ropes. The man away. So here we are in the tenth. Good counter right now. Well, it's a close round. So as we had officially have it, and now Anthony waits the winner of this one. The counter round here, too. It's possible. And uh, I don't know what that'll do to the overall scoring. Again, the judges might have already had a preference going into this round. Well, they won't lack for our heart, our desire, but again, the punching power. ESPN Eastern heavyweight champion, Jesse Thunder Ferguson.
So he has had that much of a variance. 227 today, and he said really that he feels the best at about two. Okay. And the question, Mr. Tucker, is chief second. First round was very important to him because it would indicate a big difference because ending Greg Page, but nevertheless, it had this is attention, or Douglas will know following the guy around the ring, just shorten the ring up. Really ringside, and it is not. And also the reason he has amateur fighter, a good amateur fighter. There was a left hook by Tucker. Now we talked about what a good amateur Tucker is, and Tucker slips down. Now this is a man. Yeah, they've changed. But I doubt very seriously. I think the way they approach this, he seemed to be the big of the two. He resembles this. But that was still plotting in. But a fighter. Fighters. So far, a pretty good jab. With Tucker, he's going to get a second try at it. He's displaying here. I think I'm not really loosening up in the dressing room. Well, no, the fact, what I mean, Barris, the fact he's not... But he needs to throw more than one, bar. And there was a... He's hurt, there. 20 seconds remaining in this round. Can Tucker... He was definitely rocked by that punch. It right here. The right followed by a left hand head. And there you see, you have to say, the rebound went to Douglas. The view of the same thing. A right hand. He's been, he's, he's been much more liberal with his... In fact, the way that... Good right hand. He's not just throwing one punch. He's coming back with something. There was another left hand that caught Tucker back. Tucker doesn't he's, really seem to step in too much. Also, the end... Hook, he follows up with the left hook. And Tony Tucker is just not There you see Douglas follows up with a left hand right there. One more time. Same result. Fighters. Just a little bit more. There was a right hand by Douglas and again. And right behind it with another. And Tucker in trouble bouncing off the rope. Because if anything, he's trying to wear his man. Douglas, Douglas is the initiate. This guy's a puncher with arm. Good shot. Now, oh, the hands start to drop to him. He seems to be really trying to take a breath to come on strong. Incidentally. You know what I'm fascinated with, bro? It's like these are the stage of fighters that these both guys are. They can still pull it on. And the fighters these guys have been up against. Don't agree? You have an idea that the judges who are watching this for real? And with Tucker, he lands. It looks to me to be a little bit. A little bit. Because of the left turn. You think about the 15 round limit. I know when I fought Benitez, I thought about it there. I mean, it's on your mind. You say, well, I want to save. But it's no difference. I think one. That was a right hand by Tucker. Not a bad shot. And Douglas. Doing it. Douglas yeah. looks tired in addition to being hurt. Right hand again by Tucker. Douglas on wobbly legs. About to go. Tucker presses him. Looks like he's a punch away. You need more than one punch, Barry. He's come up the left hook. There was a left hook there. And a right behind him and another right. Douglas is in deep trouble on the ropes. Almost halfway through the round. They stopped the fight. And Mills Lane, I believe, has stopped this one. He has. It's over. <laughs> over the last couple of rounds. Let's look again. There was the right hand, Ray. Well, I thought the fight was just probably stopped because you notice here that Douglas is not throwing any punch. Right hand started things off. And at this point here, Douglas appeared to be defenseless. He's not doing anything. The uppercut by Tony Tucker. Throw more Tony Tucker. Well, a moment in Protect the yourself at all times. Any questions from the challenger or his chief second? Any questions from the champion or his chief second? Let's get it championship on. fights. This is going to be a chess game for a while. Holyfield wants to Buster Douglas. Hunt for cut that was so devastating. Bandit throwing a hard hook that missed. Under it. Right now, he doesn't need to because he's not hitting anything. So he's not bouncing. He's carrying an awful lot of jellies. 
right now is Holyfield. Until he gets a jab working early on. Which is what Holyfield wants. Casey has never fought at before. There's the left. A Buster who has not been able. On a right. Uh, as you can see, Holyfield's the one that's doing the punching here. Buster's trying to get their Holyfield. The undisputed head. The jab is what should control Holyfield if it's working right for Buster Douglas. Georgie Benton said keep them around. And he's following the corner instructor Buster Douglas. He has not been leading. Lane. The small there's one. If there's one. We hit the closing second. Nothing has happened with Buster. The corner, George Benton. He's trying to land hard punches. Last two or three have been hard. Again. That time by holding Holyfield. Right hand stuns Douglas. Caught him going in. He is not going to get up. There goes the heavyweight championship of the world. Field has been the heavyweight championship of the world. Evander Holyfield with a third round knockout. Puts away Buster Duck. Let's take a look at that. A look at that uppercut. That's what he wanted to land. The right hand, solid. He's already going down. The left hook misses, but you only needed that right hand. Douglas for the first time. There's the uppercut. And the right hand over the uppercut. Out he goes. And of course, Holyfield will never again be said has not got a punch. I think you can put that one to bed. Pounds. And we see Evander Holyfield at 208. A big right hand puts down Douglas. That is all he needed. Evander, real deal, Holyfield. As I already said, he gave George Foreman. So all the stars... Evander, above all, protect yourself at all times. That'll be a clean shot, boss. Touch him up. God bless, babe. He won technically. Because he decided to return to the ring. Примерно под 2 метра до и Даглас. Первый раз. Опытный, конечно, битый, тертый бойец. Выйти на ударную дистанцию. Действует. уж низкую удар жесточайший удар справа в голову в весок как же так вот тут теряет всяческую ориентировку бастер даглас во время этого спорта да бедного прямо скажем Остается только посочувствовать. Знаменитую сентенцию Портоса из трех мушкетеров, что я уважаю старость, но не в вареном и жареном виде. Вот, друзья, я думаю, что на ринге старость должна уважать сама себя. Нужно все-таки оценивать трезвым, как это было. Ну что остается делать Саваризу, когда Бастер... Это уже второй. Ну а тут, конечно, вот этот вот левый удар, когда проскочил левый крюк в челюсть, то просто из-за большой инерции. 34 секунды, победа техническим нокаутом. И пояс какой-то там организации, который мы не знаем.